<clears throat> we're just the people who are between the nature and the, and the human culture sort of thing. So when we're asked to do buffer zones, for example, our group believes that uh, farmers have to be compensated. So if they're sensitive areas, um, you know, there's all kinds of regulations that go in place, but even so, there's going to be some sensitive areas that that might not even address. So an example might be if it's a 10 or 15 acre field that's in a sensitive area, maybe you have to pay that farmer a fair, reasonable price per acre per year to put it in a, a less, um, how would I put it, um, a more secure form for a while, maybe take it out of certain crops or something like that. But we can't expect that the farming community uh, take that burden on themselves. If we're, we're farming, but we're looking after the water and the land and the air on behalf of all of us. So we, that's not in our price uh, structure. We're lucky, to, we, you know, we usually go and say, what will you give us? And those environmental concerns are never, never, ever addressed. So if there's a buffer zone in a particular area, it could be, see a lot of problems we ran into was uh, we did strip development. We put schools and nursing homes and stuff in places maybe where they shouldn't have been. And then we expect when things go wrong that, uh, okay, we need a buffer zone around it with that. What, what happens is those farmers or whatever or land has to be compensated for the land that they may have to take <coughs> out. For example, let's say it was a row crop of some kind and you might be able to put it in hay, but in order for the farmer to look after that, you have to compensate them to, to do that in order to take out those concerns. Um, the buffer zones that we have now, farmers aren't, or landowners I should say, aren't compensated. It's only to where allure us the, over the 15 meters where they can compensate it. So, I mean, uh, I know I was talking to one of the legislative uh, lawyers one time and he thought it was no big deal. And I said, well, out in my area, like the 15 meter buffer zone on each side, I said, um, a lot of farms out our way are 100 yards wide. And I said, if you took out a, if you had a stream that ran right through the middle of a 100 acre farm, uh, that means I lose 30 acres of 100. And he never thought of it that way. So all of a sudden when uh, part of the whole over, <clears throat> um, whenever we go through this process, it has to look at that there's no harm done to the people who are in the natural resources like the forestry, the fishing, and, and the farming. Because these are the people that do the food and, and, and the natural resources on our behalf. And they can't be expected any more than a doctor to pay for the x-ray machine or, or the uh, teacher to you know, buy the blackboards for the school or, or buy the buses. So I think that a lot of that's been left out. And I think if, if there was, um, I think why you find maybe farmers are hesitant is that we always seem to get the dirty end of the stick where uh, something is done and everyone feels good and goes home, but uh, it's just another uh, financial burden on behalf of the farmers.